From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. This is your 5 Plus extended forecast. It's a weather impact alert day for Sunday and Monday due to multiple rounds of heavy rainfall. The chances for some strong to severe thunderstorms. Overall, the widespread chance of some flooding, not only for today, but heading into Monday as well. Finally, that rain starts to taper off by the time we get to Election Day on Tuesday. But until then, we're going to have multiple rounds of some strong storms moving in. Over the next couple of days, we'll have the chances of seeing the those wind gusts right around 50 to 60 miles per hour. If we hit that 60 mile an hour mark, we'll have that at least it's severe thunderstorm warning that could lead to some power outages. So do me a favor over the next couple of days. Keep that phone constantly charged in case we lose that power and we still need to get you those weather alerts that may come during the overnight hours as well. Constantly have that phone charged up so we can get that latest information out to you. Again, flooding has been our main concern, not only for tonight and tomorrow, but over the past couple of days, we had that flash flood watch issued across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. That goes out until Tuesday morning. Now, from now until by the time we get to Election Day, we could pick up generally anywhere between two to six inches of rainfall. This model showing that generally we could see an upwards of four inches of rain where those heavier bands set up. I think if you keep in mind just between that two inches to six inches uh, zone, that's what we're looking at through Monday night going into Election Day on Tuesday. Again, we mentioned it. The National Weather Service out of Tulsa and Little Rock has issued a flood watch across northwest Arkansas, the River Valley and all of eastern Oklahoma. That has been extended out now until 3 a.m. heading into Tuesday morning. The risk for tonight has increased today. We originally were talking about maybe some strong storms this morning, which we did get. And then the evening hours, we could see a resurgence of some strong storms as well. That resurgence looks to be increasing as we head into the evening hours. Now we have that level to slight risk across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Parts of eastern Oklahoma even have that level three enhanced risk. So what are the risks at play for tonight? Generally, I think strong damaging winds are going to be the main headline. But an isolated tornado or two will definitely be possible this evening going into the overnight hours. That's what we've seen with this increase for the risk for this evening. Again, we'll get a small break Monday morning where we'll just see maybe some scattered showers, but then winds surge out of the south, bringing in that energy. So by the time we get to Monday night, another round of severe weather will be at play. And here's a look at future cast for the rest of this evening. Again, a line of thunderstorms starts to develop late tonight going into Sunday night into Monday morning. Excuse me. I think where we're generally targeting as the greatest chance of maybe seeing some of that severe weather tonight is going to be south of I-40. We can't roll out some strong to severe storms across northwest Arkansas, but the overall consensus is mainly across the river valley will be where we'll be watching overnight tonight into tomorrow before we enter into that lull before more storms come in for Monday morning. When it comes to the threats for today, flooding a main concern for all the rain that we've seen today and more coming for this evening. And again, the chances for some strong winds. If we see that eclipse that 60 mile an hour mark, we'll get at least some severe thunderstorm warnings, but also these supercells can be rotating. We can see the potential of maybe a few tornadoes tonight as well. Tornadoes and hail will be on the lower risk for us. And again, if there is enough energy somewhere, it's mainly going to be into the River Valley. We'll be watching across northwest Arkansas as well, especially when it comes to those strong winds. Similar to this morning, had a strong line of thunderstorms come in that packed a punch at its peak this morning. We had those wind gusts right around 70 miles per hour. At least that's what the warning was for before they tapered off as we got into the mid morning hours. Northwest Arkansas I'm heading into Monday, another day where we're going to see scattered showers throughout most of the day, but also we could see a few isolated thunderstorms before we get to the evening hours. I think the general timeline for Monday is going to be sometime in the afternoon and evening going around anywhere between 2 p.m. to around 10 p.m. Monday night is when we get that next window for the chances for some severe weather across the River Valley temperatures starting off into those upper 60s and low 70s daytime highs into those upper 70s. Another thing to mention tomorrow why we're getting that resurgence. It's going to be very windy throughout the day. Strong winds coming up from the south around 
30 mile per hour wind gusts will be possible. That's going to build in that energy once again, and the window starts around 2 p.m. going into 10 p.m. Monday night for the chances of all threats. Strong damaging winds will be at play. The potential of a few tornadoes, low end threat for some hail. That's what we'll be working on over the next 24 hours of how much of that resurgence we could see and the potential of some really strong storms coming in for the evening hours. This has been upgraded as well for today. Now across Northwest Arkansas, most of the River Valley in eastern Oklahoma, the Storm Prediction Center has placed that level three enhanced risk. And I got to tell you, the tornado risk is going to be apparent right across eastern Oklahoma, leading up into the state line for Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. A few tornadoes will definitely be possible for Monday evening. Our main concern is going to be another chance for some strong damaging winds as well. When we look at those winds for Monday, again, here's all those strong winds coming up from the south. I think at the peak, we could see those wind gusts around 30 miles per hour in the afternoon before that front comes along, bringing the chances of some of those storms once again. So when we look at future cast for tomorrow, scattered showers throughout the day will be possible once we get into the early evening hours. Here's a look at 5 p.m. That line of thunderstorms starts to move in. That's where we'll be aware for the chances for some strong damaging winds, the potential for a few of those isolated tornadoes as well. That threat continues through the early evening hours and at least through what looks to be around 10 p.m. before that line pushes off towards the east and we're just left with some residual showers left behind. That'll carry us into Tuesday morning for Election Day. So our threats for Monday, really all threats at play when it comes to the chances for a few tornadoes, when it definitely comes to the chances of some flooding, and when it comes to those strong winds as well, really the only thing that we're not necessarily pinpointing is the chance for any of those large hailstones. We could see a few hailstones here and there, but I think the flooding concern and the wind concern is definitely going to be what we're looking out for. Tuesday for Election Day, finally that rain starts to taper off once we get into the afternoon and evening hours. I think if you're planning on voting in the morning, though, could run into a few showers here and there. Temperatures in northwest Arkansas top it out into those upper 60s across the River Valley. Those low 70s should be expected. And again, if you are planning on waiting until Tuesday to go out and vote, you may need to bring an umbrella with you. Take, take a look at the 5 News app, see where the rain's going to be and see if you need to bring that umbrella up as you head out to the polls. Northwest Arkansas weather impact alert day once again for Monday, not only for today, but Monday as well really due to the chances of some flooding throughout that rain uh, once we get into the evening hours, but really because of the chances of some strong to severe thunderstorms in the evening uh, hours on Monday, the chances for some damaging winds, the chances for a few isolated tornadoes as well. Election day still looking at some of that rain, especially in the morning hours for that clears out and going into Wednesday. Wednesday looks nice before another round of rain comes in for the end of the work week going into the weekend. We have some of those rain chances as well. I think there's a low storm chance right now now for Thursday and Friday across the River Valley. Again, weather impact alert day for Monday. Uh, that's going to pair with the weather impact alert day that we have for today. Again, the threats that we're looking at for Sunday is the chances for some strong damaging winds, maybe some rotation, especially across the River Valley is where we'll be talking south of I-40, keeping our eyes across northwest Arkansas as well. But when we we're looking at where that energy could be, looks to be south of I-40. When we get into Monday, again, showers should be expected throughout the daytime. We are going to see some strong winds up from the south peaking around 30 mile per hour gust before the main window between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. comes in and that's going to bring the chances of more of those strong damaging winds, the potential of a few tornadoes and we'll watch out for some flooding in some low lying areas as well. Again, election day on Tuesday. Expect those showers in the morning hours here and there. It's going to be spotty outside. Don't expect much as those rain chances will be tapering off throughout the day. Might need to bring that umbrella as you head out to the polls. More rain chances return by the time we get to the end of this work week. So again, going into this week, we knew we were going to get a lot of rainfall. The general idea anywhere between two to six inches of rain by the time we're all said and done and get into Wednesday before more rain returns by the end of the work week. I I want you to be charging those phones up for the rest of the night tonight and throughout the day on Monday. Two chances for some strong storms Sunday night and again on Monday night. And really all threats is what we'll be looking out for. From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. That's your 5 Plus extended forecast.